Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Tea with the Fertility Godmother. Excited to be here with you today in my office. Of course, Dr. Hubert's calling me right now. <laughs> Hope to call him back. Sorry, Dr. Hubert. Can't wait to talk to you. Hi, Haley. Glad you're on. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Ah, thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. So everybody, uh, today I am going to be talking about long cycles. Have you ever tried to get pregnant? You probably have if you've joined this and you don't know when the right timing to be intimate is because you don't know when you're ovulating. Hopefully you are being intimate a couple times a week and that will help you right then and there so you don't have to put the pressure on yourself of when you're ovulating. But today we're gonna unpack. Hello, glad you joined, thank you. Hi, hi. Dr. Hubert, sorry. Um, so today we're gonna unpack what it is like to have uh, a long menstrual cycle, what that means for you and what we can do about it. How does that sound? Does that sound good? So if so, give me some hearts, give me some love. Um, so great. Thank you. All right. So as you probably are familiar, if you're watching this episode, um, in, then sorry, I'm having a bunch of different things going on in my head. So let me just get focused here and take a deep breath. Got distracted. Okay. Um, so this is the thing. If you have a long menstrual cycle, then it makes it a little bit more challenging for you to get pregnant, but it doesn't make it impossible. So let's just kind of take it apart a little bit. So first of all, last week I talked to you about what a normal menstrual cycle looks like. So if your menstrual cycle isn't normal, meaning falling in the parameters of 28, 30 days, 32 days at the most, then that's when you're gonna want, that's when you're gonna say you have a, a long menstrual cycle. So some women have a long menstrual cycle 36 days 40 days sometimes it could be six months sometimes it could be a year and well usually if it's longer periods of time more than a few months it's either one of two reasons it's either you either have pcos polycystic ovarian syndrome or um you're just got off the birth control pill and your periods have not regulated yet. So that, those are two things. And you can actually do something about that. And we're gonna unpack that in a little bit, so stay tuned. But what the thing is, is you wanna start to pay attention to what your body's telling you. So most of the time, you're, what's happening is you'll have what's called the longer follicular phase. So that means that your body is taking a lot longer for the follicle to grow, for the egg to mature, which means that even if you were to get pregnant, there's a big possibility that you could miscarry because the the DNA of the fall of the egg of that over of that ovum is not really going to be intact. It's going to be too mature. It's going to be too too ripe, if you will. Like if you had left a banana, right? It becomes too ripe. So you, it's really important to try to correct that and. Usually in Western medicine, the way you can correct that is birth control pill, which isn't going to work if you want to get pregnant, right? It drives me crazy when doctors want to put you on the birth control pill and you want to get pregnant. Um, but the other way is, is you can take medication so that you can ovulate on time, or you can take care of your body and do natural ways to actually promote an ovulation that, so that you ovulate on time. You correct your menstrual cycle and you correct the underlying condition. And sometimes you can do both. So if you have PCOS, if you have uh, PCOS, then that's gonna that's actually a very different uh, condition. And there's some really specific things to do for that. So I'll be talking about that in about two weeks, but um, more in detail if that's something that you have. But let's just talk. Let's just take long menstrual cycles. So normally, just to recap, your you should have your follicular phase should last about 14 days. So you have your period, and as you're, then you're starting to grow the follicle, then you're going to ovulate technically on day 14, and then you have your luteal phase. So the luteal phase doesn't change too often. Usually it's somewhere between 12 and 14 days. So you can count backwards from the time of your cycle to about 14 days and get an idea of when you ovulated. So let's say you have a 36-day cycle, then you probably ovulated on day 18. 
So you can kind of get an idea of when you're ovulating. And then what I'd recommend if you haven't already is to download our free gift. You can go to the resources section in my link in the bio here, the Fertility Godmother's Resources, and download the BBT chart and also check out the video on how to take that. So you can start monitoring and take not only learning when you're ovulating, but learning about your body and what it's telling you. So usually the luteal phase is pretty consistent. It's the follicular phase, the time when your ovary, your eggs are growing and maturing, that changes. So again, the longer that you ovulate, the more um, problems can happen with the egg. But that's correctable. I don't know if you know that, but you can actually correct that through herbs and through acupuncture, acupressure, and diet. Those are some things that you can, and it works beautifully. Now it takes time because when you're doing natural medicine. Things just don't happen. I always give the example of if you ever smashed your fingernail. I know it's a painful example, but it's a good visual. It takes a long time for that nail to grow out so it becomes normal length again. So this is the same thing as our body heals. Our body is capable of healing and capable of taking care of itself if we give it the right guidance and we're, we're supporting it but it takes a little bit more time so it can take a couple months for your cycle to regulate but the good news is is you're going to be correcting the underlying condition of why your periods are longer so if you're somebody who's always had like a 30-day cycle a 32-day cycle from the time you started having your period then you're probably okay you could try to correct it a couple days. That's not so bad. But again, it's when you get above that 30 day, even 32 days is um, it's pushing it, but it's okay. I always like to correct it to get as close to the 14 day mark as possible, just just for safety and trying to be um, trying to be precautious. So what you can do is you can have you can actually correct it and you can get pregnant naturally. And, and that's a beautiful thing, but you do need to, so what happens is when you do acupuncture, we're gonna help the communication between the ovaries and the brain, get that communication going so that it that your body functions better and that you can ovulate a little sooner. There's also herbs that you can take. And what I do with my patients is I do Chinese herbs, Chinese medicinal herbs that are made specifically for you so that you can uh, we can curtail all the different things that are going on because everybody is different, right? Every person is different and all the um, underlying conditions can be very, very different. So it's really it's really helpful and it's, it's another alternative for you to do. But in the meantime, make sure you're paying attention to your body. Go, go get that free gift of your basal body temperature chart if you haven't done it. Make sure you're taking it correctly because it's going to give you the clues that you need to do in order for you to know what can happen. But I really want you to know that there are things that you can do naturally to improve your menstrual cycle, to improve your health, and improving your chances of having a baby. And you don't have to take medication if you don't want to. That is absolutely possible for you to correct that and get pregnant. All right, here's to your health, your happiness, and your fertility. And we'll see you here next week on the, fertility, on the Tea with the Fertility Godmother. Bye-bye.